so close. I am. Hey everybody, welcome. Guess what? Today's workout is 20 minute no jump cardio. And Loving Husband wanted to show you his shirt. Exercise, 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 exercise for bacon, bacon. So you don't need any tools, so we're just going to get busy right away. Let's start with a hamstring warm-up. We take the left leg and right hand, all right, and kick the leg straight up for eight. You're already one behind. Go. Seven. <laughs> Six. Five. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm going to warm you up, work you out, cool you down, all in 20 minutes. Well, 25 minutes. Last one, and release. Here we go. Up. Maybe like 26 minutes, actually. <laughs> I'm a trainer. We can't count, nor can we keep time. But the workout itself is 20 minutes. Last three, two, one. All right, let's get those knees warmed up, feet apart. You're going to give me a squat and then come up and hamstring curl. Squat, hamstring curl. Squat. This is actually going to be one of our moves, too. But this is a great way to get the knees warmed up and the hamstrings further warmed up. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, let's take it down for some push-ups from the knees because we're warming up. Take it nice and deep, hands are wide, fingers are spread. Now pick a spot just ahead of you, and now drop the chest down to the mat if you can, and press up. One, good. Two, three, keep that head up. Four, five, six, Seven, one more, and eight. Bring the knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. Inhale, let the low back sag and the head looks up. Exhale, push the ground away, round the spine. Good, do it again. Four more, inhale, exhale. Warming up the back here. It's a really nice spinal range of motion. Last two. One more. And release. Final set of warm up, alternating reverse lunges. Let's start with the left leg, hands on the hips. Ready, step back left, feet together, now right. Front knees stay lined up with that ankle, upper body's upright. So now our lunge pattern becomes a really good core move as well. Woo! I'm already warm, how about you? Yeah, low warm. <laughs> it's warm in where we're training. I can't turn on the air conditioning, otherwise the sound will pick up. So the sacrifices we make. Last two, one more, and release. All right, come towards me a little bit. You're almost out of camera. Okay, we're gonna start with, a, not that close, a squat with a crescent kick. So, feet a little wider than your shoulders. Now give me a squat, bring the arms up, give me a squat. Now take the left leg, circle it around. Good, leg fairly straight, do it in, squat, right leg. So here's the scoop, we got 10 exercises, 50 seconds on the clock, move. You go as fast as you can. However, please don't lose form, all right? We want to train smart, not stupid. So this is a squat and crescent kick. We're going into a lunge pattern next. Go down as low as it feels comfortable for your knees. How are you doing there? <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Last two. One more, release. All right, we've got lunge with knee drive. So we're just gonna work one side at a time. Start with your arms straight up for me, okay? Now lunge back with the left leg. And now as you come up, bring the knee up and bring the hands down and touch the top of the knee. Do it again. If you find this challenges your balance too much, keep your toe on the ground like so, okay? But you're still using those arms. Good job. Upper body upright, back knee coming down to the ground, getting that heart rate slowly up there. You okay there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Man down. 
Hang in there. Stick under the 18 minutes to go, my friend. Come on. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> Long time. Time. Okay, so the same move, but now we're stepping back with the other leg, okay? So we want the arms up. Ready? Step back with the right. Now drive the knee up, or just toe tap on the ground. Are you toe tapping? Okay. But hold on to the our hands. And keep huh? the arms straight. Hold on to the hands. Keep oh. the arms straight. Do you not watch what I'm doing, or <laughs> you look like in la la land there? <laughs> no, I don't watch what you're doing at all. <laughs> you can tell when I edit. You're not even lunging. Oh, uh, uh, we're toe tapping. <laughs> no, we're not toe tapping. Jeez. Toe tap is not a cardio move. I'm not tired from last week, so. <laughs> I'm really tired. Last week. Going into a plank position. Hopefully you checked out our video we dropped last week. I forget what it is, but it must have been good because loving husband's still tired. I'm still tired. Last one. And release. Alright, take yourself down into a plank position. Those of you that need to modify, I want you to stay on the knees. Alright, now plank up on your toes. Plank up. Plank up. Now, come onto the toes if you can and tap out. One, two, wrist under the shoulders. Three, one more, four. Plank down, plank up, do it again. Tap out, four, three, wrist underneath the shoulders, two. If you truly need to modify, stay on the knees and tap out with the leg like so, okay? Do a plank up and tap out like so. Are you doing that? I am doing that. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm doing that. Take it down, plank up and down, tap out for four. Wrist under the shoulders, I want you to be strict with that. Oh. And time. Alright, come on up. We're going to hold a squat and do a jab and a hook combo, okay? So give me a wide squat, toes turn out and sink down. Good. Arms in protect, so the elbows are in tight. Excellent. Now give me a left jab, arm straight across, right jab. Now left hook, right hook, good. So when you do a jab, don't fling it, be strong with it. When you do a hook, it's like you're coming along the side, okay? Jab, jab, hook, hook. Again, one, two, three, four, set. One, two, three, four, elbows in. One, two, three, Four, good. Stay in that squat. Don't lose that squat. Bum back. Good. Thighs should be burning now. Heart rate getting up a little higher. Yes? Good. Jab. <laughs> Jab. Looking good. <laughs> Jab. Jab. Hook. Good. One more round. Jab. Jab. Hook. Hook. All right. Now give me a squat and heel leg curl. Just like we did in warm up. What are you doing there, loving husband? Let's go. I mean, the thing hasn't buzzed yet. We're going to do it without the thing buzzing. We're going to be crazy and just keep going. What are you doing with your hands? You look like a spaz. I'm doing what you're doing. <laughs> no, no. You're spazzy. I'm looking good. <laughs> Bring your hands up on the demo. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely putting an arrow at the bottom of the screen. What not to do? Pointing to you. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing you're doing. No, you're not. <laughs> Same thing. We're going into a repeater knee coming up. There you go. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Last few seconds. One more each side. Time. Woo! All right. I want you to take that left leg and bring it back. Yeah? Perfect. Now arms are up. Now drive the left knee up and bring the arms down and bring it back. Good. So you're going to bend this front knee a little bit when the leg goes back behind you. It's called a repeater knee. We're essentially just going to do this for 50 seconds. Focus your stare on something stationary so you're not all over the place like loving husband. I mean, I'm focused. <laughs> you're not focused. I'm totally focused. There's focus, and then there's you on the other end of the spectrum. I'm focused. Totally focused. You're focused on a Coke or 
something afterwards. Because I'm bad. You're focused on bad? <laughs> the couch? That's yeah. what I knew. Last 10 seconds, and then we're going to keep this left leg behind us and do a hook pattern. Time. All right. Go into a bit of what we would call a calf stretch. So that back foot's on the leg is straight, right knee's bent. Bring your arms in, elbows tucked in. Now take the left arm and hook it around. Bring it in. Hook it. Bring it in. Hook. Hook. Now speed it up a little bit. Boom. Boom. Good. Boom. 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 Excellent. So we got to repeat our knee with the other side coming up. And then those are all our moves after our hook on that right side. We're going to take this baby one more time through. This time we're going to be crisper with the moves, a little faster because we know it's coming. We can perfect the move. We can make it awesome. Right? I have no idea what's coming. <laughs> yep, that's you focused. <laughs> Razor sharp. <laughs> On your game. I'm all over. <laughs> talking doesn't help. One know. more. And release. All right, other direction now. I want you to take that right leg, okay? Repeat your knee right side. You're almost on a camera again. Arms up, ready? Right knee drives, go. Bring the arms down. Good. Focus your stare on something stationary to help with your balance. Bend that front leg a bit when you extend this right one back. And then it comes straight as you bring and drive that right knee up to the chest. Arms are moving, so we're working shoulders here too. We've got abdominals recruited, we got glutes, we got quads, we got hamstrings, we got calves, we got all those little balance muscles in your feet working. This is good stuff at home. Hook with that right arm coming up in 10 seconds. One more. Tie. All right, take that right foot back, okay? Bring the elbows into your rib cage for me. Protect the sides of the body. Now take that right arm, hook it around. Set the elbow in. Good, do it again. Hook. Let's do a few slow. Get the form. Good. Now speed it up. Boom. Hook. Hook. Good. Breathe. That's it. Nice breathing, loving husband. All right, don't choke on a booger when you do that inhale. <laughs> really? You have to go there? Yep. It's fun to go there. Okay, we're taking it from the top in about 15 seconds, which was our squat and crescent kick. If you need a water, you've got 10 seconds to do it, then I want you to be on form with me, okay? All I'm asking is 20 minutes of movements today, so we get no water breaks. Last one, time. Water break. No. 10 seconds. Water break. You got five seconds. Squat and crescent kick. Ready, set, go. Squat. <laughs> Left leg. Squat. <laughs> right leg. Good. You're lucky you came back in time. I always on time. No, actually you're not. All the time. I'm on time. Actually, you're not that. I'm all the time. I have to admit. Time. It was me who was late on our wedding day. You're always late. I am not. Take that back. I'm I am a on hyper time. on time. Always on time. He lies. I'm always on time. Oh, gosh. I find people being late is rude here. You make plans with somebody, you say you're going to be there, you be there on the time that you say. You don't have respect for the other person if you show up late. So you have no respect for me? <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> but I am never late. Time. All right, lunge with knee drive, okay? So let's take that left leg, we're gonna bring it back. Ready, set, arms up. Left leg lunge, now knee up. Left leg lunge, knee up. Remember the modification, just keep the leg down by your side, but you're still lunging, loving husband. I'm lunging. Keep those hands together, grab onto your hands, hold onto them together. <laughs> I don't wanna hold my hands together. They don't want to. Yes, believe it or not, we have been together, married 22 years, together for what? Ever. <laughs> Lifetime. Maybe two. How long have we been together? 26. 
27, I think. Me a bit here, 
first screen of it. All right, keep that left leg back. Elbows in, we got the hook, left arm only. Let's give her a try, ready, left hook. Elbow in, steps, hooks, set, hook, hook, hook. Good, now speed it up, one, two, good. Be strong. When you're doing the hook, you want the arm parallel to your floor. So shoulder height and inside that elbow is parallel. Other elbow staying in tight to the rib cage, hand up by the chin. So in a fighting position, you'd be protecting, okay? The side of the body and the side of the face. Repeat her knee, other side coming up in less than 15 seconds. So we're gonna go fast on this, okay? You get a little bit of a breather on that hook, but these are our last two moves too. Here we go, arms up, ready, set, drop, drop. <laughs> What's wrong? We'll focus on it. I'm trying not to watch you because I, I'm really sorry, you're messing me up. You're messing me up. <laughs> I look at you. You're totally messed up. Got married up, messed up from that day on. Come on, we're exercising. Come on, you're losing form. I you're am. Focus, you gotta focus. I'm trying. My trainer tells me to focus. I'm losing focus. Fall on all over the place. Less than 10 seconds, let's go. Time! Alright, right leg back, left elbow in, right hook, lean into that left thigh, that front leg, ready, and hook, protect, hook, elbow in, hook, elbow in, good, now speed up, breathe, breathe, there you go, see? Or the uh, hip. 
And then if you're a local person in the Delta area or Richmond area, check out my group schedules. I teach about 15 classes a week. We've got fantastic community here in Tawasan. All right, now bend this left leg, cross it over the right thigh, and pull into figure four. And your hands can come behind the thigh, behind that right thigh, or if you want more of a stretch, on top of that right shin. Release, take that right leg straight up for hamstring. So nice stretch behind the thigh. And then cross the ankle over the other thigh. Pull in for figure four. <laughs> yeah, you may find one side tighter than the other. So things to pay attention to. And then you can give your body that side that needs a little bit more love, a little bit extra time at the end. If you need more stretches, I've got full stretch routines on the channel, so check them out. Release, pull both knees into your chest. Now fold them in nice and tight. Rock the knees side to side. Ah, we did it. Hey, thanks again for joining us and we'll